Welcome back. Today's episode, we're going to take a look at how to set up the application discovery. So the first thing I'm going to do is navigate over to operations app discovery. And what we need to do is enable the feature. So there are some CPU and memory requirements, but I've actually already increased my Prism Central with those requirements. So I'm just going to check this box here to let to say that I've done that. And now I'll enable the feature. So because the application discovery feature does require a cloud connection to the Nutanix cloud, the next thing we're going to need to do is go ahead and configure the API keys um, to get that cloud connection set up. So let's go ahead and go to the portal to get those configured. So I'm just going to log in here. And now what I need to do is actually create that API key. So I'm going to give it a name here. And we also need to select the scope. We have a few scopes to choose from, but we want to choose the Prism Op scope. So now these keys have been generated here and you can see them. So we're going to go ahead and copy these to the clipboard. We'll start with the key ID. And let's just go ahead and switch back to that app discovery view. And we'll paste the key ID in there. And then we'll do the same thing with the API key. So now I'm going to hit next. And this is going to get the cloud connection set up here. Um, so now that the cloud connection is set up, we can go ahead and actually select the clusters that we want to discover applications on. So I'm just going to select a couple of the clusters here. And so if you notice down here, um, because I've selected some ESXi clusters, I'll need to also enter in the credentials for the vCenter that those uh, clusters are a part of. And now I'm ready to discover applications. So we'll just let that validate there. And so here we go. Um, it seems like there's it's going to take a little bit of time for the data to sync here. Um, but what we can do here is let's just immediately start a discovery. Um, and we can give it a second to think. And there we go. We are already ready to discover applications on those clusters I set up. Thanks for watching this video on how to set up application discovery. And stay tuned for more episodes on how to make your IT operations efficient.